reach the right hand overhead. Are you with me? Are you talking to me? I'm talking to I'm you. I'm with you, don't you worry. Lovely. Hi guys, I'm Roxy, you'll know me as Layla. Thank you so much for joining us today for our third Yoga at Emmerdale class. Brought to you by People's Postcode Lottery. We're going to be building today on what we've done in our previous two classes, but we're going to keep it accessible. There'll be lots of options available. And we're joined by a very, very special guest who I've worked with for over 10 years. So I'm absolutely thrilled that he could join us today. So I'm joined by Matthew Wolfenden. Hello. Thank you for coming today. My pleasure. Looking forward to it. To do a little bit of yoga. Yeah, do you like my hat? Yeah, why are you wearing a baseball cap? Do you want to see my hair? Do you want to see why I'm wearing a baseball cap? Please. Shall <laughs> I put to it back on? To be fair, it does look fine. <laughs> and really, if you're doing this at home, don't wear a baseball cap because it's just going to get in the way and I hope it falls off at least three times and we're not it stopping. It will fall off, I've tried it. It will, and you'll have to just put it back on and carry on. <laughs> and also, Matthew's wearing socks, which is not recommended. Why are you wearing socks? Because I had an operation on my foot. Uh, how long ago? about six, seven months ago, and I've got like Frankenstein foot now, so I'm not showing anyone that. I had to be, they cut me open right down here. So uh, yeah, I've got like a Frankenstein foot, so you don't want to see that. Well, I don't mind, but you want to keep your yeah, socks on. keep my on. socks on, and my hat. Yes. And your hat, <laughs> okay. Um, so do you do yoga in real um, life? I have, not in real life. I've done it with you on occasion. That is real life. <laughs> yeah, I get confused there. I get confused. We haven't done it as our characters. We have done it yoga once in real or life. Twice yeah, in real once life. or twice. And um, way back when I was a lot younger, I trained as a dancer and I did contemporary did, dance. Were you also in the British gymnastics team? <laughs> yeah. Just want to get that in as that well. Was, yeah, I was in yeah. the British gymnastics team. But that's a long time ago. I'm 40 years old now. I was 17. No, Matthew, not 40. You just don't look it. No, can you believe it? <clears throat> <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so back. Way back when, when I was training as a dancer, yeah, we did a lot of yoga and Pilates and things like that, mm. but I've not done it for a while. No. Looking forward to it. Okay. Down dog and all that. Okay. <laughs> Matthew did offer to start this chat in a handstand. Um, do you so... want to do a handstand for you? Yeah, sure, please. Sure, yeah, four years old. If I, I please can still don't do hurt it. yourself, but yeah, go on. Oh, oh no! Oh, cut! No. Right, cut and start again. Stop. You know <laughs> yeah! Wow. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> can we have a break now? <laughs> <laughs> oh. but, uh, so, okay, today, this is class three, and like I said, we're going to be building on some other stuff that we've done. Um, please don't injure yourself, Matthew. <laughs> please don't. This is going to be a nice, simple, calm, relaxing class. Simple, I like that. Yeah? Yep. And just go at a nice, steady pace. Okay. No handstands needed. Okay. If you feel like you're in danger because you are wearing socks, then just pull back, take a breath. Okay. Okay? Wow. The yeah. danger of socks. It's real. The danger of socks is real. You shouldn't do yoga in socks. Okay. Anyway. Um, oh, yeah. So go ahead. Grab a blankie. Grab a cushion. We might need those. And uh, I really hope you enjoy this class. And I hope Matthew doesn't talk all the way through it. Oh, so... I'll shut up now. Okay. Promise. I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us. So let's start in a nice, comfortable seated position. We've both sat on a cushion just to elevate our hips. I'm gonna start by opening the upper back. So take the elbows in line with the shoulders, fingertips onto the shoulders. And as we inhale, we're gonna reach the heart forward. And as we exhale very gently, take the spine to the wall behind you, draw the elbows towards each other and very gently drop the head. Inhale, opening up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, take the spine to the wall behind you, very gentle with the neck here. Engage the core, inhale as you reach forward. Exhale, suck the abdominals in and up. Just flow to that first point of resistance, inhaling, opening exhaling letting tension go inhale and exhale can you feel that when you take your spine to the wall behind you mm -hmm. inhale and exhale let's just do two more last one 
And then come to neutral, palms up, hands on knees, take a breath, feel the body. Observe any sensations. Feel the inhale and the exhale of the breath. Remove your cushion now if you sat on it and come to sitting on the heels. We're going to do our little side stretch that we've done in our previous two classes, but we're going to push it a little bit further this time. So you might want to watch one step, Matthew. So we're going to mm -hmm. start by inhaling, reaching the right hand high to the sky. Feel the length of the arm, nice stretch in the sideways. Left fingertips to the floor. Exhale, bending over. But this time, if you want to just push your bum off the heels, gaze upward and then take a breath. So should we start on the other side? Inhale, reach the left hand high, reach up, reach up, reach up. Try and touch the ceiling. Fingertips to the floor next to you. Mm -hmm. Exhale, take it over. And then if it's there, just push the bum off the heels. If that doesn't feel good for you, just stay with the bum on the heels. Take a breath. Exhale. Where am I supposed to be looking on there? So as you inhale, reach up. Mm -hmm. Exhale, gaze can just be okay. under the arm. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. And it, when you're in this position, just tuck your tailbone, feel like someone's just poached you in the bum. Can you feel like how that deepens the stretch in your lower back? Mm-hmm. Opposite side, inhale, reach up. Exhale, take it over. Gaze up, inhale. Exhale, centre. Last one, inhale, reach that right hand high, nice and energised. Exhale, take it over. Inhale, take a breath. Exhale, come to centre, palms turned up, pause, feel the body, take a breath. Observe any new sensations, I've got a little tingling in my side waist. Interlace the fingers, take the palms away from you. Now, if you can only come up a few inches, that is absolutely fine, just stay here but just take the hands to wherever feels good for you and feel like someone's pulling the shoulders down away from the ears. So you've got that dual action, the hands, the palms are reaching to the ceiling, but you're also dropping the shoulders away from the ears. Come to that first point of resistance, stretching up, but drawing the shoulders down. Take a deep breath. And then ah, release, let the hands float down, pause, feel the body. Interlace the fingers, take the hands away from the body. Inhale, reach the hands high to the sky, reach up. Exhale, shoulders away from ears. Take a big deep inhale. And exhale, stay here. Take another breath, really reach the palms away, draw the shoulders down. And then you're on your next exhale, release the hands and let the arms just flow all the way down. Palms turned up, take a breath, feel the body. We're gonna come into some core strengthening work now. So st similar stuff that you've done before, we're just gonna work a little bit harder. So come onto your bum, get your fingertips behind you. Let's just open the shoulders here, half paw Votanasana, take the chest to the sky. Take a breath and then exhale. One more breath and exhale. Return to sitting. So now there's two stages to the boat that we're gonna do. So you can draw, with the fingertips behind you, draw one leg in and one leg out, mm -hmm. like so. Or we can work a little bit deeper by bringing the feet and the knees together. Feel like you're really squeezing the thighs in towards each other and then extend and draw them in. Let's do 10, two. It's okay if you shake or if you want to take a little break, Matthew. Three. Oh, I don't want to take a break. Be all right. Four. I can have a break now. <laughs> you do want to take a break. Just have a nice, big, deep, relaxing breath and then come back to it when it feels good for you. Take your attention to your lower abs and also to the knees and the thighs and really squeeze them into the body. Last three, two, and last one. Hold it in, 
And then release. I can really feel that there. Yeah. My you like hip it flexors. And it, can you feel it in your thighs as yeah. well? Take your fingers facing in towards the body and open the chest here, lifting up. <sighs> we're going to come on to all fours now. And we're going to do a little bit of glute, lower back strengthening and moving into a balance. So we'll start in our table. Palms down, knees down. Tuck the toes on the left foot, then extend the right leg away from you. Engage that right glute and the right thigh, so you're nice and strong. Mm -hmm. Then inhale, lift and squeeze for one. Exhale, take it down. Lift and squeeze for two. And down. Three, we're going to do five. And down. Four. Last one, squeeze and hold. Now actively press down through your right palm and start to play with the idea of lifting that left hand, maybe extending it. Really tricky balance here and then release, well done. So bring the right knee down, tuck the right toes, extend the left leg away from you, actively press down through the hands, engage the left leg, the left glute, and then inhale, lift the leg, squeeze at the top. Exhale, bring it down. So we'll do four more. Inhaling. Exhale, two. Inhale, relax the face. Three. Suck the abdominals in and up. Four. Last one. And hold. Actively press down through the palm of the left hand and just start to lift the right hand. If that feels good for you, stay there. Or option to extend the right hand away from you. Feel that core strength, that full body balance. And then exhale. Release. Come back onto our bums and let's just take a center in breath. Tune inward. Observe any new sensations. Take the feet flat, fingertips facing inward behind you. Actively press down through the palms of the hands so the chest is lifted. And then draw the abdominals into the spine. And it's from the abdominals that we're going to lift up. And then bend in the arms, coming back down. Inhale, lift, straighten the arms. Exhale, coming back down. Let's just do three more. Inhale, lift. Now this is a tough one. So if you just want to do two, do two. If you just come up an inch, you just come up an inch. That's fine. Should we do two more? Mm -hmm. Inhale, lift really up. Really feeling that in my like, hamstrings. I'm supposed to be feeling it there. Inhale, lift up. Last one. I am not ignoring you. Sorry, Matthew. <laughs> you are. And then come back down. Do you know... I think any yoga pose, when you do it well, you will engage your entire body. And I think different yeah. people will always feel different poses in different places. Like for me, I really feel that in the shoulders, mm. but you should be engaging the full body. And I do tend to feel it in my glutes as well. Yeah, that's where I feel it. And obviously here. Let's just take a nice little hamstring stretch here then, one that we'll come back to in a minute. So bring the left leg up, no, bring the right foot to the inside of the left leg and just bring it to wherever feels good for you. It's okay if that left leg's bent. We're gonna reach the hands high to the sky and then we're gonna exhale, just really gently fold forward. Just find that first point of resistance. Then stroke the mat with the hands, coming all the way back up. Inhale, nice and fluid, reach up. Exhale, very gently floating back down. Don't worry about how far down you come. Inhale, drawing the hands towards the body, reach up. Exhale, floating down. Let's just do one more. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to neutral. And then switch legs, so extend the right leg. Draw the left leg up to wherever feels good for you. Fluid, one-legged, forward fold. Inhale, reach it up. 
Exhale, nice and gently oh, coming down. Tighter on that side. Oh. It's okay to bend the leg as well, because if you bend the leg, you'll get deeper into your lower back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, flow. So for me, when I feel like I get the most benefit from yoga is when I'm finding that ease within my effort. So you're finding that first edge, but you're also just breathing into it, relaxing into it. Last one on this side, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, flow. Come back up to neutral. And we'll just take a breath, feel the body before we come into our standing flow. So let's come to the front of the mat. We're gonna move through some forward folds. So like I've said in the previous two classes, it's absolutely fine to bend your knees. When you bend your knees, you get deeper into the lower back. So come into your comfortable forward fold, finding that first edge of resistance and working from there. So ground down through the feet. Feel like someone's just poaching the bum. So you took the tailbone. Feel like someone's just poaching the lower abs, lifting up on the lower abs. Nice and long in the spine. Slightly tuck the chin, relax the face. Fingertips energize. Inhale, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, folding forward. It's absolutely fine to bend the knees. Inhale, lengthen, straighten the spine. You can bring the hands to the shins. Exhale, fold. Then inhale, rising all the way back up. Nice and slowly and mindfully. Inhale, reach the hands high. Exhale, Release. Let's do two more of those. Can I come back here so I can actually watch you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, and also what we can add, I think your toes, are you, you all right coming onto your tiptoes? Yeah. What we're going to add here is a little bit of balance work. So we're going to inhale, rise up on the toes, reach up. And then exhale, slowly coming back down as you fold forward. Remember the knees can be bent, tuck the chin. Inhale, hands to shins, lengthen the spine. Exhale, release, folding deeply. Inhale, suck the abdominals in and up, slowly rising up. And when you get to the top, pop back up on those toes. It's okay if you wobble and fall out of it. And release. I usually wobble and fall out of that one. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, on tippy toes, reach up high. Exhale, folding forward from the hips. Hands to shins, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, melt down, fold. Inhale, coming all the way back up. Popping up onto the tiptoes if it's there, reach up and release. Well done. Pause, take a breath, feel any new sensations in the body, tune inward. We're going to move into our lunges now. Same again, so do you want to pop to the front of yep. the back? And if, um, if you can just look for the first second so you can see what okay. I'm doing. Yep. Inhale, reach the hands high, gaze up. Exhale, folding forward. You can, you know, you can do this bit, fold okay. forward. Yep. Inhale, lengthen, hands on shins. Then exhale, step the right foot back and drop the knee. Then inhale, reach the hands high. And then exhale, we're going to take our twist like we did in the previous class. The right hand comes to the outside of the left knee. Left hand on your lower back. And then just draw that left shoulder back. Gaze gently in the direction of the left shoulder, but don't... Um, jar the neck, just do it nice and gently and then take a breath here. Exhale, release, hands down, right foot to meet the left, fold. Suck the abdominals in and up as you inhale and rise up, gaze up. Exhale, release, let's do the same thing on the opposite side now. Inhale, reach the hands high, gaze up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, left foot steps back, drop the knee. Inhale, reach up in our lunge. 
Then exhale, open up and twist. So the left hand to the outside of the right knee, right hand to the lower back. Draw that right shoulder down and back. Take a breath. Left foot comes to meet the right now. Hands down, fold into the body, relax. Engage the core as you inhale, rise up, reach up, look up. Exhale, release. Well done. I'm going to take another variation this time. Inhale, reach the hands high, gaze up. Is your hat still on? Hat's still on. Exhale, fold in forward. Hands on shins, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step the right foot back and drop the knee. This time it's a bit of a tricky one, so watch. We're going to bend, pivot and open up. So, and then take the left forearm to the left thigh. My knee and my ankle are in line and then reach the right hand overhead. Are you with me? You're talking to me? I'm talking to I'm you. I'm with you. Don't you worry. Great. Lovely. Right. Now we're going to take some shoulder rolls here. Inhaling. And exhale. So you'll feel that's a really nice opener for the, for the right shoulder. You'll feel a lovely stretch through the right side waist. And as you inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale, last one. Inhale, open. Exhale. Now just take the right hand overhead, gaze up, tuck the tailbone, feel the stretch in the right side waist. And as you inhale, feel like you're creating space and as you exhale, release any tension, relax the face. One more breath. And gently release. Take the right knee to face forward, bring both the hands down and we're just going to straighten the left leg. Point the toes to the sky and take a breath. It's okay if that left leg is bent. Just take two deep breaths here. Inhaling, lengthen the spine. Exhale, relaxing down. Take the left foot flat. Step the right foot in to meet the left. Gently fold, relax, let go. Suck the abdominals in and up and rise up. Reach up, look up. Exhale, release. Well done. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side now, yep. okay? Yeah. So inhale, reach the hands high, gaze up, exhale, folding forward from the hips. Inhale, hands to shins, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Left foot steps back this time, drop the left knee, open up to the left, knee and ankle in line. Take that right knee so it's tracking towards the little toe. It's not collapsing in. Make sure the knee isn't overshooting the ankle. I'd maybe walk your foot forward a tiny bit. Yeah, lovely. Then take your right forearm to your right thigh. Reach that left hand overhead. Feel the stretch. And now let's take some lovely shoulder circles. Inhale, swing the arm Which in front of the going? face. Okay. And then exhale, open up. Look at those dancer arms. Look at mm. the lovely grace there, like a ballerina. <laughs> Keep flowing, three more breaths. Inhale, open. Exhale, nice, where am I looking deep. With this one? Like... You can follow your hand, that's a nice one. Or you can keep the gaze just kind of soft <laughs> and straight ahead. Make that last circle really big so you're really opening up. Take it back, feel it in the left hip flexor. And then gently release that and just shoot the arm overhead. Reach the fingertips away from you. Reach, stretch, stretch, stretch. Energize through the fingertips. Tuck the tailbone. Gaze up this time. Breathe. 
And then exhale, gently release both the hands to either side of the left foot. Bring, sorry, the right foot, bring the, right, the left knee to face forward and then extend the right leg. Just, it's absolutely fine if that leg's bent, just come to where feels good for you. Two deep breaths. Last one. Bring both the knees together and then sit on your bum. Shoot the legs out in front of you. Let's pause and just take a breath here before we move on. Feel the body. Observe any new sensations. So now we're gonna come into our forward fold flow. So you can sit on a cushion here as well. If you've got a really tight lower back, that's always a really nice thing to do. I don't know whether you wanna sit on your cushion today or whether you're okay, but just experiment with it, see what feels good for you. Inhale, reach the hands high, and just like we did with the one leg forward fold, we're gonna do with the two. So we're exhaling down, nice and relaxed. Inhaling, drawing the hands back up. Look up, exhale. Flow. Inhale. And exhale. Let's just do two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And this time just hang out here. So turn the palms up. Let the head just hang. Relax the feet. So it's a really passive forward fold. Just letting gravity do the work here. Take three deep, slow, control breaths. Tune into the body. Feeling any points of stretch. And as you inhale, feel like the breath is creating space in those areas. And as you exhale, allow the body just to melt deeper into the pose. Inhaling, opening up. And exhaling, relaxing and letting go. One more breath. Very slowly starting to rise up. And come all the way down on to your back. We're going to take some twists. So lying down on the mat. I mean, and then you're gonna extend the arms out. So you can take your cushion actually, take your cushion to the left hand side first. Mm -hmm. And then draw the knees into the body. We're gonna do two twists here, but we're gonna start with the double leg twist. Arms out to extend it out. So feel like- So what am I doing with this cushion? Putting that to the left hand side, because as you fold over in a minute, it's just gonna support the knees. Okay. Yep. So feel like someone's just pulled the right hand away from the body, feel that stretch. Feel like someone's just pulled the left hand away from the body. Take an inhale. And then exhale, just allow the knees to fall to the left. Take your gaze to the right. And then re-stretch that right hand away from you. Exhale, drawing the right shoulder down towards the mat. You can place your left hand on top of the right thigh to draw those thighs down a little bit deeper. And then just breathe. On your next inhale, engage the core, draw the legs up to center. Extend the left hand away from you, really stretch the left hand away and pop your cushion onto the right hand side. Inhale in centre and then exhale, allow both the knees to fall to the right. Option to take the right hand on top of the left thigh. Extend the left hand actively away from the body. Draw the left shoulder down onto the mat and take the gaze to the left. Breathing deeply. Slow. 
slow, controlled breath. Last one. Engage the core, drawing the knees to centre, and then just rocking the back from side to side. Now, from here, we're going to extend the left leg, taking it all the way down, and then take the left hand to the outside of the right thigh. If this feels too much, just return to our previous twist. Inhale, right arm is extended away from the body. And then exhale, rolling over to the left as you take the gaze to the right. Does that feel okay? Mm. Yeah. Feel like someone's pulling the right hand away from the body as you draw the right shoulder down. Nice big deep inhale. And exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale deeply. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Engage the core, coming up to centre. Draw the left knee in towards the body as well. Take a gentle rock. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Again, come into the twist that feels good for you. Extend the right leg. Right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Exhale, rolling over to the right. Take the gaze to the left. Draw the left shoulder down. And breathe. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Two more breaths. Relax the face. Engage the core, return into centre, draw both the knees in and gently rock from side to side. Now, we're going to go ahead and grab our blanket. Got a jumper or a blanket or whatever you need to keep yourself nice and snuggly and warm. Go ahead and grab it now. And we'll come to lying down on our back palms face up, toes, feet relaxed, legs fall naturally apart. Is that hat okay on your head? Stayed on all the way through. No one's going to be looking at your hair in relaxation if you want to take it off. Are you, is that a suggestion or is that, a, is that an order? Well, I just think you'd relax more with your hat off. <laughs> okay. okay. Right. Connect with the body on the mat. Take your attention to the right foot. Observe any sensations. Feel the blanket on the foot, the air. And let the right foot relax. Take your attention to sensations in the left foot. And allow the left foot to relax. Take your attention to the ankles. Allow the ankles to relax. Connect with the right knee. Feel any sensations in the right knee. Let the right knee relax. Let the right thigh relax. Let the whole of the right leg relax. Take your attention to the left knee. Feel any sensations in the left knee. Allow the left knee to relax. The left thigh to become heavy. Allow the whole of the left leg to relax. Feel the hips grounding down into the mat. Inhale and breathe into the belly. Allow the belly to relax. Connect with the space in between the mat and your lower back. 
and let the lower back soften and relax. Breathe into the chest. And as you exhale, allow the chest and the shoulders to relax. Connect with the space at the back of the neck. And allow the neck to relax. Let the head become heavy on the mat. Relax the forehead, the eyebrows. Soften the eyes. Let the cheeks relax, the jaw, the lips, the throat. Take your attention to the right arm and let the whole of the right arm relax and let the whole of the left arm relax. Take your attention to the palms of the hands. Feel the energy in the palms of the hands. Inhale and breathe into the space in between the eyebrows and exhale feel the full body relaxed just take a moment now to say out loud or to yourself I am perfect I am whole I am complete just as I am in this moment. I am perfect and I am whole. I am complete, just as I am in this moment. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you feel lovely inside and out. Have a gorgeous day. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today, Matthew. Thank you. I really enjoyed that. Did you really? I did, yeah. And it's made me realise that I really need to stretch after I've been to the gym. Like, I, I was, I felt really tight. But the more I, like, them flows and things you were doing, the more mm -hmm. I did, the better I felt. Yeah, it was great. I think it's hard sometimes to make time for things that you don't feel are just like physically changing the body. Cause I know like you like to go to the gym, don't you? And work out really hard. Yeah. And I was saying to Izzy that a lot of the yoga that I do is, you know, it's like really toning stuff, but I think it is really important to take time to do just nice deep stretching mm. to open up the body. The breathing is so important. Yeah, that's something that, I, yeah, I do need to focus on a lot more. Cause when I go to the gym, I do, I go for 40 minutes and I, I finish, get straight in the car, get home, have a shower, do you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. all, I never I'd take that time for myself to actually, Relax. Relax, stretch, rest afterwards. Yeah. And I know you are super, super busy, so you must get overwhelmed sometimes like on a daily basis with all of the different things that you're yeah. having to do. And like for me, taking like five or 10 minutes to just breathe and relax changes my day yeah. completely. Yeah. I am really, really trying to do that. That is my New Year's resolution to take five minutes a day. Mm. Doesn't sound like a lot, does it? But when you're busy, when you're a parent, you're working, it's it, trying to get that five minutes on your own yeah, is quite difficult. Yeah, almost feels impossible. Do you yeah. ever just lock yourself in the bathroom? <laughs> yeah, quite often. Yeah, so <laughs> do I. So do I. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for joining us. We really hope you enjoyed that class. And please join us next week because we've got the gorgeous, fabulous, wonderful Amy Walsh. I didn't say any of those nice things about you. No, you didn't. Um, yeah. And remember, these classes are available online, so you can go ahead and do them as many times as you like. So hopefully we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.